What's up everyone? Time for another video. Today I'm going to show you how to change your oil in a 2015 Toyota RAV4. Uh, this should be the same procedure for the most part for any RAV4 from, I believe, 2013 to 2018. So, uh, all right, let's get started. First, I'm just going to start by loosening this up, get a little airflow. This is also where you're going to refill the oil when that time comes. And as you can see, the type of oil that we're going to be using is SAE, I guess, 0W20. Uh, one thing also I just want to point out, I think it's really, really helpful if you do get some ramps that you can roll your uh, RAV4 up onto, you just get some nice clearance and it, it you know allows you to obviously get underneath the car and have a lot more room to work with. These are, I believe, just some Rhino ramps. Um, you can get them at AutoZone or Amazon. Super, super helpful. And then next, we're going to be... underneath the car here and as you can see I got my uh, oil pan ready to go catch the oil and we're going to be loosening up the oil plug right there there's the um, where the oil sits and uh, this is what we're going to be loosening up right there I believe it takes just a 14 um, millimeter So you just are gonna loosen that up. Hey guys, so I actually had to end up using uh, a to this torque wrench here uh, with a 14 millimeter socket on the end. Uh, you know, it's just sometimes working on cars is all about finding leverage, uh, as my dad always told me. And this just gives you a lot more leverage. Uh, I guess I got that oil plug on there. Uh, pretty tight from the last oil change I did. Guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> but so when you get it loosened, you just want to loosen it up. Hopefully, try not to spill as best you can. And there it goes. So just kind of let that drip. some Teflon tape um, okay yeah just let that let that drain and uh, we'll move on to the next step okay so um, you can probably still hear the oil dripping over there um, but right here this is the oil filter and uh, the first thing we got to do is get rid of this or take this off so what you're gonna use, one of these. So I apologize, it's kind of hard doing this with one hand, but just bear with me. Um, so we'll just get that in there. And then, Loosen it up. Like so. Okay. And now, I think I can just do it by hand. But the thing with this too is it is going to drip a little bit of oil when you pull this off. So you want to have a rag and, you know, another bucket or container to kind of catch the oil. It's not going to be a whole lot, but it's going to be enough. You know, you don't want it dripping all over your garage or something or driveway. Okay, next here we have the uh, replacement filter. Um, I went with a uh, Toyota OEM genuine filter, but you know, I'm sure a Fram or anything will do. But, um, so we're gonna need something out of here. The next thing, we're gonna need this. This you're gonna plug in to the old filter and I'll show you where. This is gonna drain the remaining, uh, any remaining oil that's in that filter. 
um, before we pull it off. And you know, I'll be honest, I usually always have uh, trouble with this thing, getting it in, and I usually get oil over uh, all over my hands and stuff. So uh, for some reason, I can't seem to get any better at it, but you know, uh, I'll show you what, what you're supposed to do, and uh, hopefully it's easier for you than it is for me. Okay, so um, right here is where this goes into, and it's supposed to drain any remaining oil. Um, like I said, uh, I always have a hard time with this, uh, actually getting it in there. Um, but you just stick it in there, and it's going to drain any remaining oil. And uh, again, you're going to want to have some kind of bucket um, or pail or something to catch the oil that comes out, because it is quite a bit uh, more than you might think when you're first doing this. And there you go. That's how it, how it looks. It actually wasn't that bad for me this time. Maybe I'm getting better at it. But yeah, you just stick it in there and you can see um, quite a bit of oil draining out. So you got to wait for that to, to finish up before you move on. Once the rest of that oil drains out of the filter, we're going to use this oil filter wrench to go ahead and actually remove the old filter. Okay, so that's pretty good. So you could probably just go ahead and remove this now. Maybe. Hmm. Well, told you this thing always gives me trouble. Um. Hmm. There you go. So just take it off and uh, then you're ready to remove the filter itself with that oil filter wrench. Okay, so just like that, you wanna use this oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter. Again, I apologize, I'm trying to do this with one arm and uh, you know, it's a little tedious, but I think you get the idea and uh yep you just do that and it's getting a little easier there we go i could probably just do it by hand now so yep there we go and you just pull that bad boy out nice and gently there you go stick it to the side i always like to Clean this up, make it nice and pretty. Okay. And uh, there you go. Okay, now that you got the filter off, you might as well put your drain plug back on. Um, I always like to put you know, a little Teflon tape around the threads of the, the um, bolt there. Uh, it's not necessary, but you know, again, my dad always showed me, uh, how to do this and he always did this, uh, said it was supposed to give it a little extra, you know, I guess layer of seal or tight tightness or whatever. But, um, so that's what I do. So just go ahead and put it back in there again, be careful. You don't want to strip the screws or the, or the thread. Um, And uh, you know, I just kind of hand tighten it for a sec. And then you're gonna wanna tighten that up again with a 14 millimeter. Okay, again, um, just a reminder, you wanna kind of clean up any residual oil around here. Um, Cause one, it cleans it up nice. But when you start your car back up, you want to check for leaks. So you want to wipe up as much oil as you can, make it as clean as you can so that you can detect a leak. Um, and if you've tightened everything up right, um, you shouldn't have any leaks. So. OK. 
Okay, you just want to hand tighten it, not not too crazy. That's probably good. I'll check for leaks anyway. Okay, almost done here. Okay, so um, here's the oil filter off. I discarded the old filter and uh, there'll be a gasket right here that you want to remove. Okay. And then in the new filter packet, you get the gaskets, okay, right there. And so you're gonna, here's the new gasket, this smaller one, it's gonna go right here. Okay, so here's a, that smaller gasket. You just put it right there. Should fit nice and easy. And you wanna take this bolt again and just put it right in there. Okay. You know, make sure you clean it up a little bit before you put it back in. And then um, you do wanna hand tighten it again. Using this. Okay, got that back on. Then we're gonna wanna remove this gasket right here. Can you see that? Okay, and then we have a replacement from the new filter right there. Okay, so you just wanna, after you take that gasket off, simply wanna get this one on. It's probably gonna be easier for you with two hands. And get it on, get it down like so. Okay, then you take the new filter and simply slide it in. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to put this back on. What we're gonna do to put it back on is we're gonna use our oil filter again, okay? So we're gonna attach it to, to this. Use that filter to tighten it back on. You do not wanna tighten from this part, okay? You can bust this and uh, damage, obviously this part, but maybe your filter um, altogether. So you don't wanna tighten from here, use the filter, or oil filter wrench. Okay, so you can just hand tighten this at first. Just to get it started. And then you're gonna wanna use your oil filter wrench. So I'm gonna try to put this down where you can see it, hopefully. Okay, hopefully you could see that. Um, but you know, you get the idea. Just want to tighten it back up and hand tighten it. No need to get crazy. All right, almost done here. All right, next, we're just going to be putting some new oil in. Um, again, we're going to be using 0W20. I believe it's 4.6 quarts. I like to use a filter, makes it so much easier. Um, some people just, you know, eyeball it and they got a good steady hand, they can get the oil in there. But I like to keep things nice and clean, nice and easy. So 
Um, uh, not a filter, I'm sorry, a funnel. I like to use a funnel. So um, there you have it. Now we'll start adding the oil. Just start pouring. So what I'm pouring right now is uh, some oil I had left over that I didn't use. And there's actually about one, one and a half, 1 1.6 probably quarts in this. So I'm gonna use all of this and then I got some other oil um, that I'm gonna use, which you know is perfectly fine to do. Probably find yourself having to mix and match like that um, when you do this stuff on your own. Okay, got about four and a half quarts, 4.6 quarts in there. Um, you know, it is kind of you know, a good rule of thumb is not to overfill it and then uh, drive it off the ramps, get it on level ground, check the oil after it sits for a second. And then uh, if you have to add more, you can, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drive it off the ramps. Okay, I've got it off the ramps. It's on level ground now. Um, so I'm just kind of letting the engine run, let the oil cycle through, you know, the filter and uh, oil pan and whatnot. Always a good rule of thumb. Oil light's not on. That's always a good sign. Now we want to check for leaks. Don't see any leaks here. And it should be way easier on the ramps, but you got to get it on level ground to really check the oil level. Yeah. And check the leaks here, which I don't see any. Okay. And then you want to check the oil plug. Again, I don't see any leaks. Okay. So I think we're good. Now we just got to check the dipstick. Okay, now we just got to check the dipstick. Um, see if we got to add any. So here's the dipstick, just simply pull it out. Take a look at it. You know, you want it to be between those two dots and it looks like, yeah, I do have to add a little bit of oil, not too much. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Generally, you wanna wipe it off before you put the dipstick back in here, but I've got only one hand, so I can't do that. All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit more oil right here. All right, everyone, so that's it. Uh, I topped off a little bit of oil inside the inside this uh, RAV4 here. Checked it again with the dipstick and it's in between those two dots, so we're good to go. Um, you know, another thing you should do when you're checking your oil is just, you know, check the other fluids. Check your uh, power brake, power steering fluid, transmission fluid, the coolant washer fluid, uh, go ahead, you know, charge your battery, um, you know, just kind of inspect, uh, you know, everything under the hood and underneath the, the car that you can. So uh, just kind of a good rule of thumb. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any suggestions, please go ahead and leave them, leave them in the comments, anything I can do better, anything I missed, or, you know, just things that you do when you're on your, working on your RAV4 that you found helpful. So we'd appreciate it. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please go ahead and like it, subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll see you here next time. God bless.